the Gospel Reflection of the Day brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mwambani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the soul. Beloved in Christ Jesus, welcome to Thursday of the second week of Lent. It is the 29th and last day in the month of February 2024. Let us thank God who has walked with us the whole month and entrust to him the people that we are as we begin the new month of March come tomorrow. We begin our reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our theme for reflection today is do it and glorify God, postpone not. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 16, verse 19 to 31. There was a rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, full of sores, who desired to be fed with what fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. The poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in Hades, being in torment, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham far off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he called out, Father Abraham, have mercy upon me, and send Lazarus to dip the end of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am in anguish in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that you in your lifetime received your good things, and Lazarus in like manner evil things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in anguish. And besides all this, between us and you, a great chasm has been fixed, in order that those who pass from here to you may not be able, and none may cross from there to us. And he said, then I beg you, Father, to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they also come into this place of torment. But Abraham said, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. And he said, No, Father, Abraham, but if someone goes to them from the dead, they will repent. He said to him, if they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced of if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord Beloved in Christ Jesus, more often than not, characters of biblical parables are unnamed. But the poor man in today's Gospel bears the name Lazarus, which means in Hebrew, God has helped. The story of the rich man and Lazarus in today's gospel compels us to examine our own priorities. Are we, like the rich man, consumed by a life of material comfort, while neglecting the needs of those around us, even those closest to you and I? Have I allowed myself or have we allowed ourselves to become so comfortable that we fail to see the suffering at the doorstep? You see, the character of Lazarus conveys to those who have more than enough resources to help out but choose not to. As the story vividly shows, Lazarus comes to represent a lost opportunity for the rich man to become the concrete expression of God's help to humanity. Lost in his self-centered indifference, death seals his fate. As for Lazarus, 
his name assumes its full significance when God reverses his fortune and grants him all the help that he has been deprived of during his earthly life. We should not always be contented with being on the righteous corner, but we should take part in the actions that can help those who do not have the same blessings as we have. So as Christians, we are accountable for the least of the society. Our Savior Jesus Christ demonstrated it for us throughout his whole life and in his parables. This introspection reminds us of a time when we became so engrossed in our work that we neglected even our own family members. We were physically present but emotionally distant. The story of Lazarus serves as a wake-up call to everyone, urging us to be more present in our relationship and actively seek opportunities to help those in need. We pray today that we open our eyes to the needs of others and use our resources, time, and talents to make a positive impact in the world today. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thanks for your word that pierces our hearts, calling us to action. Strengthen our resolve that we may not postpone the good we ought to do today and to prioritize compassion and service over personal gain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A very happy month come tomorrow. May God bless us all. Praise be Jesus Christ. You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today as brought to you by Sister Rosalyn Wambani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the story.